reporting with focus on the major events of the time and to keep up with breaking news as it happened is known as conventional journalism. In the process, many vital issues get neglected. Compared with conventional journalism, there is another kind of journalism that is about more than just chasing a particular story. You might have seen many news or reports that critically examine, evaluate and interpret development plans, policies and programs, point out disparities between plans and actual achievements and compare how development is progressing in other countries and regions. These reports also provide all relevant background information about the development needs, process, discuss the impact of these plan and policies on society or environment or relation with other countries and speculate about the future of development and economic cost, etc. All of which covered in this kind of journalism. Hello everyone, in this lecture, I am going to talk about this another kind of journalism which popularly known as development journalism. By the end of this session, you will become familiar with the concept, history, the objectives of development journalism, development reporting, success stories, and challenges for development reporting. Let me start with the concept behind development journalism. Development journalism is derived from development communication. Development is the goal of every nation globally and various strategies are planned to achieve development encompassing all spheres of life, political, economic, social and spiritual. In the last seven decades, scholars have proposed various theories and models. In 1976, Rosas has defined development is a widely participatory process of directed social change in a society intended to bring about both social and material advancement including greater equality, freedom and other valued qualities for the majority of the people through their gaining greater control over their environment. Specifically, this definition focuses on directed social changes in which external agencies' involvement is needed while giving much less importance to the people concerned because external agencies formulate policies and involve in their implementation. Let's have a look at the another definition of the development in the 21st century gave by Cambries in 2002. Development is a complex, integral, participatory process involving stakeholders and beneficiaries which aimed at improving the overall quality of human life through improvements in a range of social sectors in an environmentally responsible manner. In this definition, stakeholders include national governments and politicians, international agencies such as the UN systems specialized agencies, developmental assistance agencies, the private sector, non-government organization, and cultural leaders. According to our chambers, development means giving priority to the poor, aiming to meet the basic needs, striving to be endogenous to a society means that it should originate from the society's values, and his perception of its future, making optimal use of natural resources, taking into account the potential of the local ecosystem, as well as the present and the future limitation imposed by global consideration for the biosphere. By development communication, we mean the systematic uses of communication for the development of the nation. It is oriented towards development in various sectors like agriculture, industrial growth, small-scale industries, cottage industries, etc. in both urban and rural areas. Hence, any concept of development 
that is achieved through communication comes under the topic of development journalism. This leads me directly to the next point that is development journalism. The concept of development has no clear definition in this era of globalization and fast progress in all sectors. Experts in the development have defined development journalism in different ways as per their understanding and experience. J. V. Vilanilam, a communication expert in India, has defined development journalism as journalism that deals with the process of development in developing nation. It shed light on socio-economic and environmental issues that are often neglected by the mainstream media and helps them find solution to promote growth and sustainable development. Although there are different approaches to development journalism, it mainly refers to the kind of journalism that pays continuing attention to reporting policies, agendas, activities and events that affect the developmental issues and are committed to the improvement of the life of the people. So let me give you a brief overview of the origin of development journalism. Development journalism has its origin traced back to post Second World War when development communication started taking its roots in the developing countries of Asia, Latin America and Africa. They started formulating their policies of development. Since the media would play a key role in national development, the rulers were expected to utilize the media services in disseminating information to the people. When the policies were taking shape, neither the government nor the newspaper realized the importance of the press in the national development. However, when the theory of development media gained importance in national development, Experts identify the role of the press in nation building. The term development journalism emerged in Asia in the late 1960s, more specifically in the Philippines through journalists such as Joanne Mercado and Alan Chocolate when they organized a seminar on development journalism. In 1967, with the coinage of the term development journalism by Alan Chocolate, it gained popularity with the creation of Press Foundation of Asia, financed jointly by Asian Newspaper and Ford Foundation. Those who conceived development journalism in the beginning believed that nation development depended heavily on economic development and felt that journalists trained in economics could report competently about problems of a developing nation. Therefore, Alan Chocolate's book, published in 1968, The Manual of Development Journalism, emphasized economics and it suggested training for journalists in economic reporting. When we look at development journalism in the Indian context, there were many indicators added to it. For example, the environmental and ecological news, foreign news and features, news on globalization and international market, news about culture and tradition in a country, information on trade and share markets, news about sports such as cricket, football and other games, and special human interest stories come under the preview of development journalism. Apart from this, it also focuses on core issues that hinder development process like discrimination in caste, a crime against women and children, social marginalization and other similar social problems.